What up everybody, it's your boy Bell. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button. Go on ahead, comment, leave me some comments, go ahead, subscribe, all that. We're gonna get straight into it. So first things first, we're gonna get it on and popping with probably the pistols, cause hey, who don't love pistols? So uh, I gave you my most recent one. This is my most recent right here. So this is a Charles Daly Pac-9. Um, they come with a Glock conversion kit trash bro like it's trash the, the conversion kit don't work bro uh, they do run beretta mags that's what i got in here right now just so y'all know everything i'm going to show y'all is clear so don't be tripping but that's that thing right now um i got it just because it's an ak nine millimeter ak and who don't need a nine millimeter ak you know what i mean it's a it's a fun gun uh this right here this is a kr9 muzzle device so it came from the kr9 that i got in the closet I swapped that off, so I just had a threaded barrel. I just throw it on there, why not? Um, I got something else on the KR9, so you'll see why I took that off. Um, but yeah, just a basic 9mm AK, nothing crazy. Just for so y'all boys can see. Like, that's not how you do it with this, man. It's not like a regular AK. You gotta push the button. It is clear, but uh, yeah, basically just a generic little cheap AK. Bought just because I collect AKs. So yeah, you dig? Other than that, um, one of my favorite pistols right here is going to be the FM509. So this butt right here is one of my first pistols that I bought that I purchased for myself. Uh, my other first pistol was a, a SIG, uh, but I ended up selling it because they got some dope SIGs out right now and I need one in the house. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this came with the threat. I'm oh, just kidding. This was the FM509 MRD, so it did not have a threaded barrel. I put the Apex threaded barrel in it and then I bought the PMM Parker Mountain Machine. Uh, comp on it, bro. When I say flat, it is flat, bro. Like that ain't got no muzzle rise. Mm, 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 right back on target. Beautiful gun. Um, I love my FNs, man. I know they're expensive, but bro, I think they're worth it. Hate, hate or not, I don't care. I copped it. I'm just fire. Uh, what else we got for y'all? Man, I'll give you a couple of little tiny ones because, you know, the tiny boys, you always got to keep a little something, some little pocket rocket or something like that. You never know when you're going to need it. You got to go to the mailbox. You got to go to the grocery store. Yeah, you got to go to the movies. You never know. So, we started off right here. This is the Ruger LCP Max. I got this for my shawty. You know what I'm saying? It's a tiny little pistol. Like, you see that boy? You see my hand up against it? That is tiny. Okay. But uh, it do what it do. It holds three. I mean, it holds 12, but it's a, a 380. Yeah, you heard correctly, it holds 12 in the little tiny little package. But yeah, it's a 380, and I mean, look, when you have a pocket rocket, you need to pull it out and do what you gotta do. Um, it's a very nice gun, it's super low recoil. It's got the, the night vision sights on that drone. I don't know if y'all can see that in there. But yeah, I got a night vision sights. Um, super compact package, I like it. Uh, I also got this uh, Smith & Wesson, so this one right here, 2.0. Smith & Wesson 2.0. Performance Center. It's another 380. I got this one for my wife. Um, I want to change it, make it rose gold, nice and beautiful, and all that. But you see, it got the serrations on it, got the ported barrel, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, and it's got the nice sights. So, I mean, hey, it's doing what it do. It's a nice gun for her, you know, she can shoot well, but like whenever we want to practice and, you know, just really take our time to make sure we're hitting our shots, that 380 is great for that and it's good for like finding weaknesses you know like you're like you're shooting with a gun and it's not you're not you're not hitting you like what's going on now take back that recoil shoot with a with a lighter caliber and kind of look at your mistakes see see where you can kind of hone in um that's what this is for um what else i got for y'all boys oh i got some stupid fire for you um let Let's, let, let, let. Nah, I'm away. I'm away. I ain't gonna show it yet. We're gonna hop in with the next one. This is the HK VP9 long slide. Uh, beautiful gun, as you see. Clear. Does come with this, like, I forgot what they said that O ring is, but that O ring, like, is for accuracy or something. It makes it, like, stupid accurate. It's serrated, you know, so it's easily to talk or whatever. Um, but it's a beautiful gun. Has a good trigger. I actually really like this gun. I traded my Canic for this because. Canic just wasn't doing it for me. I know everybody loves Canics, yeah, yeah, yeah. It just wasn't for me. So, got that HK. Um, 
Oh, if there's anything in this video that y'all boys really like and you want to see me do like a review on or you just want to see some range time or, you know, some practice with it, let me know and I'll definitely get y'all that. Um, that's something I really want to do this year. Just got to get, get out the range. Boy, I got so many guns, I got to get out there and use them. I'd be too busy, but... Uh, let me see, I got that Folk 5. This right here, another FN, FNX Folk 5. Um, you know, I love this gun, man. It's just a beautiful weapon. Uh, just that bedside. Clear. But yeah, like I said, bedside weapon. You can put the suppressor on it. You know what I'm saying? She 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 TTG man. She's a she trained to go. She a classic, battle tested. Uh, you really can't go wrong. And I do love how it has that little uh, the um, cocker in the back end. It has the decocker on it. Uh, super shit. That's uh, super sick. Um, yeah. The FN. Oh, this one she hold 15. Um, and it came with the Vortex Viper, so that's pretty cool also. Another one that I really, really like is gonna be my XDM 10 millimeter. So this is the Elite one. She clear. This is a little, this is a little bear stopper right here. This is what you, you wanna go hiking, you know what I'm saying? You wanna go to the mountains, you know what I'm saying? You wanna be active outdoors, all that. This is what you take right here. This is a drop that Cougar, that Puma, you know, Escape Prisoner. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you run into, this will take care of it right here. Uh, it got that fiber optic red dot red on there. That fiber optic, you probably can't see, but it's the thing. Me struggling with the focus and just want to focus on me. I know I look good, but yeah, it got that fiber optic on it, man. And uh, it's a 10 mil, bro. And it's the smoothest shooting 10 mil. Like I got a full size 10 mil 2011, and like, bro, this hand down shoots smoother and it's smaller. Got the light on it, you know, just in case you at night, you know what I'm saying? You go camping or something, you know how it be. You gotta be safe. Um, and this is also something, like I said, you just, if, if I go out there, to, like in the woods or something, like, you can't do no better than 10 millimeter. Like, it drops bears, bro. Like, <laughs> need to say anything else? Um, I got one more 45 too. So this is the, uh, in my uh, first 1911, I got this uh, SDS Imports, I believe. Yeah, T size is what they call it. T size. I put the walnut grips on it. Yeah, I got that's that wall, that's that Amazon special, boy. And them them boys is pearling. So go ahead, get you get you some down on Amazon if you want it, if you like it. But yeah, that's just fire, bro. I, I had to. And uh, again, just a little 1911, not too crazy. Full steel frame, which is just nice, man. It just when you shoot it, bro, it feel the way a gun's supposed to feel. I, that's all I can say, man. Um, well, since I showed you that 1911, I might as well show you the 2011. This is the 2011. So this is the Rock Island Armory, 2011. This bad boy hold 10 millimeter and it hold 16 rounds of that shit. 16 rounds, bro. And it got the threaded barrel, bro. You know how hard it was to find this gun? I've been waiting and looking and like, bro. And cause this ain't like super expensive. This is like a mid-level price gun. So it's like to find this exact configuration was so difficult, but I found it and it's here. That's that best one. Yay! And she got that fiber optics on it. This is one of my favorite shooters right here. Um, anytime I go to the range and I can afford a 10 millimeter, this is what I'm trying to shoot. Um, let me see what else I got for y'all boys. I guess I'll show y'all some of that old school stuff I got. So my boy Jesse, he, he put me on like revolvers and stuff. I wasn't even never gonna buy no revolver. I bought my first revolver only because he been buying a revolver. And I ain't gonna lie, I sold that junk. It was a EAA, a little cheap little revolver, basically throw away, and I, I, I didn't like it, so I sold it. I took it back to the store. I said, nah, give me something else. And I traded it for this right here. So this right here is that uh, Tracker, the Taurus Tracker. Uh, real Western vibes. It's got a nice, solid uh, barrel. I think it's like, I can't remember how big the barrel is. I can't even remember, but it do got them little ports in it, which is stupid fire. Help with like that recoil. It ain't like the other 357 I had was like, God, God. This one's more like, God, God. Not as crazy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I love that it has seven too, so it's not like the traditional revolver. What holds the six? It got the seven. That's the main reason I bought it. I like my guns to have something a little bit weird about them. And then this one do got the, I don't know, it's like maybe a fiber optic sticker on it or something. But basically, uh, it's better than the sight that was on the old one. So I really like this gun. Need to shoot it more. Um, just haven't really been able to lately. I also got, 
another revolver. So this one right here, this this one when I want to go like, I don't know, hunt like, I don't know, like an elk or something up close. I don't even know if you can even shoot an elk with this. But this right here, my 44. Uh, this the Taurus Raging Bull or Raging Hunter. Raging Hunter, yeah, it's the Raging Hunter. And man, you see how long that thing, boy, that thing bigger than my head, boy. Look at it, man. Boy, this is my old Western right here. Only thing I don't like about this joint right here is you gotta drop down both of these in order to release the barrel. I feel like that's a little bit weird. Um, but this one uh, does hold six, nothing too crazy there. It's just a big ass gun. And you can put a red dot on it or a scope. Like what? So I just had to, you know what I'm saying? And uh, like I said, imagine someone walking in your house and they looking down at that big old, yeah, they gonna turn right back around. Um, so yeah, that's my Raging Hunter 44 Magnum. What else I got for y'all boys? Oh yeah, there I have my little MCK. So this was one of my first, so this gun in here is a Glock 23, which was one of my first guns. Um, I got the Glock from the family member. And that really what put me on. I started buying a whole bunch of pistols after that. Um, but yeah, this is the Glock, Glock 23. Uh, we did put, I did a Cerakote it, took it to my boy's shop and like sanded it down and uh, sandblasted it. And then we sprayed it with the silver paint. Um, Came out decent. It's not like perfect, but like I enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? It's like a police edition, <laughs> but it's cool. Um, I do need to replace the sights because when I sandblasted it, bro, I took the sights off that joint. You can't, you can't see nothing at night. But I got some replacement sights to put on it. But cool thing about the Glock 23, it shoots 40, and uh, I don't know if I showed y'all. It's clear. Um, but needless to say, it shoots 40, and uh, it goes in this little chassis. So if you're not familiar with it, you literally can just slide this drum in. Well, maybe not literally. Find a little, the exact little spot that it likes. What the hell? Dang, fat boy. All right, so put it in that little slot that it likes, and then you just slide it forward, and then you put the little piece on it like this. And then basically she TTG, she tried to go. Um, as you see, it's still basic Glock controls. I just, it's just an extension of the Glock. Um, so basically that's how it sits in there. Um, pretty fun to shoot. Nice real close, close up gun. Like, it's not like uh, you gonna really reach out, but like close quarters, this is a perfect option. It does have a light on it too. So good little self-defense option for anyone who doesn't wanna really buy like a PCC on a, a real limited budget. I think the chassis is like 250 bucks. And then you just add all the rest of the pieces. So yeah, that's the MCK. And it's cool, small package, you can fold it up. It does have this spot where you can put these extra bags. Um, this is the Gen 1. I believe the Gen 2 you can put, has a threaded barrel so you can suppress it. But I got the Gen 1, I ain't getting the Gen 2. I got actual PCCs now. Right here, I told y'all boys I had some fire for y'all coming, man. This right here, this is my DDM4, bro. My PDW, personal defense weapon. This right here, you get this, this that truck gun, this that car gun, this that protect your life at all costs right here. That's what this is right here. This defend your family, this is America, this is freedom. But yeah, this right here, 300 blackout, Boy, integrally suppressed. Just kidding, I ain't got no suppressor yet, but it is ready to be integrally suppressed. Um, I do got a suppressor on the way, it's not the suppressor for this, but that don't matter. Like I said, it's ready. TTG, I'm gonna put that suppressor on it. I got the old light on it, don't judge me. Don't judge me, I know I said old light. I'm gonna put the Surefire on there, but that Surefire costs money, okay? Y'all know how much that gun costs. If you know, you know, so like, just give, give me some time, you know what I'm saying? Have a little patience with your boy. This the AEMS on it. This that Holosun. Bro, that thing, fire. I don't know if y'all can see that thing, but boy, that Holosun, fire, crisp. Everybody like, it's Chinese optic, China, China. I don't give a damn, bro, that thing, crisp. Uh, but yeah, this personal defense weapon right here, this that bedside, this that everywhere I ride, she ride, you know what I'm saying? 
That's my baby girl right there. You know, I still love you, wife, but you know, you know. Mm. So that's gonna do it for the pistols, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm about to show y'all boys the exciting stuff. The exciting stuff, so now you get to see the, the rifles and they're the goodies. So I'm gonna start with my first one. My first one. Hey, shout out Jesse again, boy. We was out there shooting them. He had a 22 win mag. And uh, we were busting them things. I said, bro, I'm about to go give me a little 22. Just, just, just give me one. And so I got it. It right here. It right here, the Mossberg Plinkster. Look at that big old thing, boy. You don't need no sort of muzzle device like this on a 22. But hey, it came with it. Thought it looked cool. So I said, yo, let me get one of those. Again, she does not to worry about that. But uh, yeah, then my little Plinkster. I forgot, the Mossberg Plinkster, 702 Plinkster. Boy, I tell you what, before COVID, I ordered a 25 round mag. Boy, I tell you, it's been a year and a half, I still ain't got the mag. I ordered two of them, I still ain't got the mag. I don't know if they just don't make them no more or what, but. But yeah, when you shooting 22s a lot, it gets tiring real quick, bro. I, I took this to the range like three times, I said, I ain't shooting 22 no more. <laughs> If you know, you know, man. Uh, so then, after the after the 22, uh, I bought my my AK. My AK is in the shop right now. You know, it's hurting. It's hurting. Uh, but I'm gonna show you my other AK. I got one more pistol. It's this one right here. So this is my M92. M92. I call it Little Serbia. Little Serbia. You know what I'm saying? And the reason I call it Little Serbia because that's what she was made at. Zestava Arms, made in Serbia. This little Serbia right here, and boy, let me tell you, boy, little Serbia get down. She get down, look at that LAF on there. That's the loud and flashy from J-Mac Customs. Boy, that thing get the blowing them fireballs so big. Fly, fly, fly. If you wanna see, check out my other videos, man. Check out some of my reels, bruh. And then, you know, you can't shoot it like a dummy, so I did get the triangle little pistol brace on it, so I can actually. You know what I'm saying line it up and get the uh, I got the Swamp Fox on it. Swamp Fox, that's a Colorado brand. So you know I had to go with him, bruh. I'm a Colorado native, you know what I'm saying? I like to rep the locals, you know what I'm saying? I'm a local business owner myself, you know what I'm saying? So I had to rock the Swamp Fox on the top. Again, J Mac Customs on the on that. And uh good old AK Man. 762 party, baby. But yeah. That's my baby. That's my baby. Well, I remember on the way to AJ fight. That's when I picked this bad boy up. Mm -hmm. Went down to, what was it? What's that place off airport? Don't matter, because y'all gonna shop with me for now. Since we already, oh, bro, I got another pistol. I was about to go into the rest of the case, but I got one more pistol for y'all boys. You can probably see it in the background if you've been looking. Another shawty right here. This is my MCX. MCX Birdies. 5.56 five, on them boys. You know, you gotta have a nice gun in each caliber. Maybe not every caliber, but you know what I'm saying? And this is my 5.56 right here. Uh, if good enough for the military, it's good enough for me, okay? Uh, military family, you know what I'm saying? My dad was in the Air Force, my grandfather was in the Army. You know what I'm saying? So, like, look, it's good enough for the military, it's good enough for me. This right here, like I said, my MCX bird is. 14 and a half, or no, I apologize to y'all boys. It's 11 and a half inch barrel. Don't worry about this hollow cylinder, that's gonna go. I just had to put it on there just cause, you know, I don't like to look at my gun naked. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so I put the hollow sun on it. Whew. Boy, boy, I can't wait to get dirty with this, man. This and the 300 blackout is mainly what I'm training with all year. I don't want nothing else other than these cause these are my, my ride or die guns. So it's like, that's what I need to be cold with and that's what I'm gonna train with. But uh, just so you can see. She is clear, got to see through mags, so you probably knew that. But, uh, yeah. Boy, that MCX bird is boy. Six sour. If you notice, I like my stuff to fold. You know what I'm saying? I don't like it all big and bulky all the time. Well, this one right here. God, dog, I tried to push on it, it ain't even move. We gonna, we gonna work on that. This right here, my KR9. You can probably see her. Yeah, yeah, you big AK baby. She got that 16 inch barrel. She barely even fit in the screen. You see it? You see it? I do got another J Mac Customs muzzle device on there. That's that BDS blast deflection shield. Okay, you take that off. Take off that blast deflection shield. 
Check this out. You ain't seen no muggle device like this. And if you have, it's cause you know. Boy, look at that thing. I don't know if you can see it, cause they're trying to focus on me again. Look at that thing, bro. That muzzle break on there, crazy. And the cool thing about that, I can direct thread my suppressor that's on the way. So yeah, we finna get it. We finna get real nasty with this one this year too. Don't even worry. Don't even worry. We gonna put some good work in with this one. Only issue is these magazines is proprietary. Like, bro. Like, bro. You can't find these Kalashnikov magazines nowhere. And I live in Colorado, so it's. We got magazine restrictions, so it's real hard to get the right stuff. But yeah, look at that thing. She nasty. She ain't got no optic on her yet, but she do got a special trigger. If you know, you know. I got another K for y'all boys. It's a big one too. It's right in my KS12. Yeah. KS12, you can see, you see her. She long, 18 inch barrel, big old, like look at that thing. But don't even fit in the camera, this big ass shotgun. Yeah, so, basic Sega style shotgun, boy. This is my competition shotgun. When I do my three gun and stuff right there, then I'm probably gonna run this. This right here. I'm gonna customize it fully, just wait. You won't see, it's gonna look totally different. Cause I mean, right now it's basic. You gotta do a lot of these, a lot to these guns to make them the way you want them and to get them to run the way they're supposed to like really run. Um, hey, you either hate them or you love them. And hey, I love AK, so. I had to, but yeah, and I got, I think I got a Vortex up top. No, yeah, yeah, that's a Vortex, yeah. I think it's the Venom, but yeah. That's my big boy shot at. Mm-hmm. Well, since I already brought you into that shotgun, might as well go ahead and show you the other one. This right here, this is called the Comrade. You know what I'm saying? The Comrade, that's right, it's your homie. Then you, shit hits the fan, then what you want. Right, they're gonna protect you and your family. 10 round magazines. It is a firearm. This is not a shotgun. The reason it is not a shotgun, look how short it is, bro. Can, I don't know if y'all can see that from the camera. Let me step back. Like, this is a short firearm. Bro, this is like, what? We're clear just so y'all boys can see. I know y'all get this tweaking on me. But yeah, bro, bro. And it got the threaded back, bro. All I need is the Salvo 12 on it. Oh. Oh. Bro, killing the game. Killing softly with his words. Telling my whole life with his rhymes. But no, this right here is my, bro, I'm telling you, bro. You, oh, it's just too nasty, bro. I get a little excited sometimes when I be, when I just be talking to him. It's what I call my info classic. Now, it is a PSA, it's a Palmetto. And then I did put it, the Palmetto State Armory upper on a Anderson Manufacturing lower. This is just a cheap old M4 clone. And uh, it's a fun gun. If you've seen it in the videos, you know what it do. Uh, I'm not really gonna go into it, but uh, it's a beautiful 16 inch AR, traditional AR. and. Uh, yeah, she's fun. Before we leave the shotgun realm, I got one more. This right here is my Mossberg 930. Mossberg 930, tactical, tactical boy. Tactical smacktical, just in case you need to clear the room, clear the house, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have a tactical smacktical shotgun. And that's what this is right here. She beautiful, I love her. She's a little bit abusive on your shoulder. She gonna beat on you. Not like the comrade, the comrade really gonna beat on you. But this right here, it, it, it's just beautiful, man. It's well crafted. And I'm excited, man. I like high capacity shotguns and that's the main reason I got this. It can hold seven plus one. And on top of that, I heard they got a tube I can put in it. That's 10 plus one. Shotgun shells. And it's gonna be more reliable than that mag fed. So yeah, that's all I'm waiting on. I'm gonna do a little bit on this and we gonna run her. Let me see what else I got for y'all boys. Uh, so this right y'all is my sick cross. So I ain't never been hunting, but when I go, this is what I'm gonna take. Um, what can I say, man? This gun is fun to shoot, bro. Like it is, whew, 
like the power that comes from six and a half Creedmoor out of this 18 inch barrel is it's stupid bro and it's clapping them steel targets and uh, the cool thing about this is not heavy so like you out there in the forest four days five days you trying to get you an elk or something bro and you know what i'm saying like you got to carry this every day you don't want a 50 pound gun bro you, you want your stuff to be light and this is light and easily can be strapped to your backpack or whatever you're carrying so you don't got to carry it in the front and honestly it's just a great weapon and bro when I say this boy, I reach out and touch you, it'll reach out and touch you. No matter how far that animal is, you, you get him in your sights, boy, he gone. And it does fold up. Um, it has a super nice uh, brace and stuff, which is one of the best features about it, in my opinion. Um, I believe it was made specifically for this gun, but like how all this comes up for the cheek riser, the cheek weld, just to make sure your shot's perfect and comfortable and it's super adjustable for every shooter. Um, I did put a bipod on mine because obviously we are gonna reach out, but uh, super excited to put more rounds through this. I have not shot a lot because obviously six and a half cream more is expensive. <sighs> but uh, I love that gun. Got that, she's a shit big girl. Ain't just set her anywhere. If you ain't noticed, I like FNs and CX <laughs> and Daniel's defense. <laughs> but this right here, this my 308. So this bad boy right here uh, is the Six Hour 716i. Um, again, another big rifle. But I like these bad boys because like distance shooting is real fun, bro. It's peaceful. Like sometimes you want to do like. You know combat drills and stuff and then sometimes you just really want to sit back have fun hit targets and enjoy a sunny day and that's where this bad boy comes in bro this 308 is nasty like bro i said that six and a half hit with some power no i think this 308 hit was in power bro like the six and a half is nice but this will knock that target over from distance um but yeah that's that six hour 308 716i i believe it's an 18 inch barrel um, I painted this brown Cerakote of it. Um, so yeah, normally it's all black. My last big gun for y'all boys, ain't even finished, it's a project. Basically we get into the project section. So this right here, this big boy right here, this is my 338 Lapool. You might have heard of that in the movies with them snipers. That's what this is, the 338 Lapool. She a big girl. I ain't got no scope on her because the scope costs just much a damn gun. But look at that thing. Boy, that whole so that ain't gonna big looking at you. You can hit from so far. This is for that competition when you really wanna, you wanna really stretch out. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure you can hit thousands with this easy, no problem. So I got my six and a half when I wanna go medium same with the 308 and when i want to go long i got the 338. Boy, look at the trigger on that thing it's like a accu point trigger oh my goodness that thing is butter butter my 338 yeah gonna put a nice little scope on that thing bro because man she's sick with it bro she's sick and bro the bullets on this thing bro so lastly, I'm gonna hit y'all boys with a few projects that we are gonna go on and continue on working with. Um, I've been working on this six and a half Grendel, which is technically a pistol. That's this good boy. And so, another PSA upper. I Cerakoted it. Well, actually, I didn't Cerakote this one. My boy Nick, my, my, my boy Nick Cerakoted this one, yeah. It came out pretty damn good, if I say so myself. He didn't like how it came out, but I think it came out pretty far. Y'all tell me in the comments. And have y'all shot six and a half Grendel? This is a hunting rifle. Um, mainly for, you know, you want to go out and take out some hogs. Or we got coyotes and wild dogs and stuff out here, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, nice little rifle. Scope on it's just a basic one. I think it's a Sig Whiskey 3 or something, something like that. Um, yeah, overall, very nice gun. Clear. But, uh, yeah, another one for the collection. And then I gotta give me a couple, uh, couple of lowers, cause I got a couple more uppers in here. I got about four uppers in here. So this one is from a Theorist. 
a theorist rifle company. This is a six millimeter arc. I bought this a year ago. Just got it. <laughs> Shout out COVID. Look at that job. 22 inch barrel on it. Like you want to reach out and touch something. This is perfect. We got coyotes out here. This is my coyote gun. Boy, you go tear them coyotes up. Um, keep in mind coyotes are not good for the land. Uh, that's why you have to get rid of them. Um, they eat livestock, all that. So, but yeah, that's my Ethereus 22 inch, six millimeter arc. Super excited to get that bad boy finished. This is my 458 SOCOM. Another big bullet, big bore gun. Just working on it. I painted it silver. Got the Daniels Defense parts in the back. But as you see, the gun ain't finished. So, still working on it. But another project. Last but not least, got two more uppers. These are my first uppers when I first started building. I've never finished them. I have a problem with starting things. <laughs> Too many things at once. Um, so this is the 5.56 and then this is the inner blackout. They both kind of have like a special paint job on them. I don't know if you can really tell, but we share coated them. It's like black, like a, black and like a midnight purple. Um, both 11 inch, 12 and a half inch barrels. Not super big, but you know, just some projects in the world. So if you liked anything that you saw today, make sure you boys hit that like. Go on ahead and leave some comments. If you thought it was fire, let me know. If you thought that there was something in there that you didn't like, you thought it was stupid, let me know. If there's some more stuff you want to see, you want to see me shooting some of these guns, you want to see reviews on some of these guns, how to break them down, how to clean them, let me know. Um, I'm here for the people. So uh, with that being said, y'all have a great 2023. And Bell's Ballistics is out. Because you got the long days, longer nights, long